What is up, guys? Welcome to part five of my A Very Potter musical sequel reaction. Uh, this is going to be the beginning of Act Two. Uh, we just finished up Act One a couple of days ago. It was it was really good. It was a really really kick ass ending. Um, yeah, everybody's there. Lucius is there. Uh, Sirius is there. Like things are all set up for Act Two to just get crazy. And I, I really, like, I, I gotta keep catching myself because I want to go back and be like, well, in the books, this happens next. But it's like, well, in what book? Because this musical has been, like, books three, four, and five, maybe a little bit of six. Like, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing that. But, yeah, this show has been, like, I, it has been really good. There are parts that I'm not a huge fan of, but overall, it is definitely coming back. I think I said after like the second part, I wasn't a, it wasn't one of my favorites, but it's it's getting up there. These last I think part three and part four have both been very very entertaining. So yeah, my hopes for Act Two are very high. So yeah, thanks so much guys for watching with me for checking it out. Uh, if you like it, remember like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> By order of the Ministry of Magic, the Lord Jane Umbridge shall replace Albus Dumbledore as headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Teachers are hereby forbidden from giving out any information not strictly related to the subject they are paid to teach. <laughs> All student teams, societies, clubs, and activities are henceforth disbanded. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody bitch! Dean, get out of this month's daily profit! Albus Dumbledore named public enemy number one after it was discovered he had been aid and dangerous fugitive Sirius Black. <laughs> Dolores Jane Umbridge has now been appointed headmaster of Hogwarts to bring order to the school and repair the curriculum. Repair the curriculum? Is that what you call ruining old bloody school? Are y'all talking about the horrible things that are going on here since Umbridge was named headmaster? It, it's awful. It's just... Awful. Damn straight. Yeah, she's cancelled Quidditch, got rid of the trips to Oxmead, got rid of the feast, painted over the paintings, and now she's got the Ghostbusters breathing down nearly at this neck's nearly at this neck. Not to mention, she has cancelled the annual Valentine's Day feeler up dance and replaced it with a nasty old abstinence rally. <laughs> How am I supposed to stay abstinent when I've got a reputation to maintain? <laughs> Frustrations out on me. <laughs> Calm down, friend. No one gives Doyle detention. Me hate Umbridge. You guys hate Umbridge too. I thought you guys would have gotten along, seeing as she's a bitch and you guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were hoping for, but no such luck. Well, you know what I think? I think I need some chamomile before my slumber. <laughs> Sirius Black apprehended. He's currently being held at Hogwarts where he waits in sentencing. The heroic witch Dolores Umbridge recommends the maximum sentence. A Dementor's kiss. That's rough, buddy. What are we gonna do? There's nothing we can do. The only other person that knows he's innocent is Dumbledore. And he's on the run, too. Now we're in a real puzzle. Red Vine? <laughs> For the first time in my life, I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> You can't mean that. Um, uh, here, just open up and I'll put it in. I don't want one, okay? I don't want one. I'll take it, Ron. We best leave Harry alone. All right, gang. I'll ignore that some of you are late, 
if you ignore that I'm the latest. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Why don't you guys laugh at my joke? What's going on here? Why all the long faces? Man, it's Umbridge. She is ruining our lives. And Hogwarts. It's not a school. It's a blooming prison. Like Azkaban. <laughs> yeah, she's the Dementor sucking out my soul. <laughs> I see. Well, I'll tell you what. If you guys think that this place is like Azkaban and you're worried about Dementors, why don't I teach you a spell that can ward them off? It's called a Patronus. Uh, but, Professor, the Patronus is a very advanced spell, and we're just first here. Ah, bullshit. <laughs> I mean, baloney. <laughs> it's easy, okay? The only thing you need to make a Patronus is a wonderful thought. Any happy little thought? <laughs> <laughs> Not just any happy thought, all right? Dementors live off fear and misery. So in order to beat them, you've got to have something that's stronger than they are. The happy thought has got to be something that when you think about it, you can't help but cheer up. So come on, guys, what makes you happiest? Cho? Uh, uh, where, where? Hey, it can be a memory, a person, a fantasy, anything. Just as long as the emotion is real. I'll pretend I'm at the Valentine's Day filler up dance and all the boys can't keep their hands off me. Good. Hey, who, who knows? Maybe that's a... Uh, Maybe that's a thought we can make happen. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> and let me know. <laughs> Neville, what do, you, what do you got? I think I'll be an Indian brave. Sounds good. Hey, Ron, what are you thinking about? Maybe a snack or a frumpy little girl? No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about Harry. Oh, cool, I was thinking about me, too. <laughs> Good work, guys. Good work. All right. Now that you've got your happy thoughts, you got to hold on to it, okay? And then say the magic words. Expecto Patronum. All right? Now watch me. Uh, professor, what will you think of? <laughs> I'm going to think of the man who considered me to be his best friend. <laughs> Teach this bunch of children a Patronus. Snape! Oh. <laughs> Tell me, Snape, is the Patronus even on the curriculum for chubby little first years? <laughs> Why not? Oh, is that so? <laughs> what do you want, Umbridge? Well, I was just walking around the school, observing teachers in their classroom environments, and I heard some pretty terrible accusations about you. Cho, I said I was joking. <laughs> I heard that you don't even use the proper textbook in your daily lessons. Well, Umbridge, that textbook's like a thousand years old. It still refers to Dementors as ring rates. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're smarter than whoever wrote this book? No. You're smarter than Merlin? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't approve of your hands-on approach in the classroom, Remus. Again, Cho, I was joking. <laughs> And then there's that Daily Prophet uh -huh. that said that you eat shit. <laughs> that was a candy bean that tasted of shit. I mean poopy, guys, please. Well, Remus, the point that I'm trying to make is that your ass is fired. <gasps> what? Dumbledore may have taken pity on you because you're a worthless little piece of poo, but there is no room in my screen for a washed up little toilet turd like you. Now you got 20 minutes to get out of my castle. What? No, you oh, don't! Who disrespected Umbridge? Bye, Professor. Too bad you were joking, Professor, because that could have been your greatest adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the door for you. You must be happy now, Snake. Look at my face, Remus. I look happy to you. <laughs> Stop. All right, Snake, listen. You win, okay? Just take care of the kids for me, and I'm sorry that we made fun of you for our work here. Yes, well, so am I. Well, 
Let's see. Right. Now go. Now that we got rid of that no good looping, guess who gets to be a new defense against Dark Arts teacher? Me, Snape? No, <laughs> me, your mama. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach you real good. What the hell about this? Uh. <gasps> <gasps> what is that? Of this, but I like to call this Mama's little love. I use it to give tough loving to all my children. You children are gonna learn your lessons twice as fast with the help of Mama's love. Ah! You God. can't do that. It's abuse. Well, if you hurt anyone, I'll, I'll. You what? I'll tell the wizard cops, and you'll be fired. Show <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I think? I think that maybe you should be the headmaster. No, oh, no. Is that what you think? You want to be in charge? You want to be the mama? You want my job? No, I'm just a little girl. <laughs> I don't like you, Granger. I don't like the way that you don't like yourself. Because you know what I see when I look at you? I see myself at your age. Oh, God! <laughs> Pathetic. Lonely. Ugly. You calling me ugly, girl? No! You're the one that's ugly! You're the one that's ugly, not me! <laughs> not me! <laughs> I'm going to help you, girl. Oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to suck you right up into my womb. I'm going to spit you back out. I'm going to red hot titanium baby with diamond teeth. But before I can recreate you, I must destroy you. Now lift up your skirt. So your mama can Surprise. love your bottom until it bleeds. Leave her alone. Yeah, you're all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just stop it. Stop it. Why do you guys be so mean to me? Oh, that's all right. That's enough. As much as I would love to see some of these bastards beaten. It's against the rules. Besides, it's time for potions class. And I made a fun lesson we can all enjoy. Come on, everyone. Let's go to the dungeon. Yeah. yeah. Man, but this whole glass ain't detention. Thanks, Hermione. God! Oh, pardon. You hold up a second. I want to have a word with you. Have you gotten any letters from Big D? I don't even know who that is. Don't toy with me, boy. It's Dumbledore. I know you're helping Sirius Black, and I know you're helping Dumbledore. So I'm going to ask you one time, where is he hiding? I don't know. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, you're just a Dumbledore man, true and true. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You think the school is bad now? I haven't even started. I'm not afraid of you. You're a teacher, you can't hurt me. <laughs> Do your worst. <laughs> Oh, I will. <laughs> I see you in hell, Harry Potter. Jesus. <laughs> Lupin. Hey, Lupin. Hey, Harry. Hey, uh, I'm sorry about you getting fired. You still have so much to teach us. Oh, well, that's all right, Harry. My last lesson was how to get yourself fired. <laughs> Have you been drinking this whole past two minutes? Yep. <laughs> Part of the lesson. <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. <laughs> um, well, if it's any consolation, you were always my favorite teacher. I know. That's probably why she fired me, you little creep! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not your fault. Probably everybody's favorite teacher. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Mora. <laughs> so, Lupin, this place is, the whole place has just gone.
on to the dogs. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, you want me to say something? Um, <laughs> the important thing is that you always stick by your friends, no matter what. Well, maybe you should go visit your friend, Sirius Black, and let him explain what's been going on. No, no, listen. Sirius Black is not a friend. He's a traitor. All right. Well, my time's up. Hey. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess you can have this old thing back. Thanks, Harry. Probably use it as a blanket or a house. <laughs> and I'm unemployed and homeless. Yeah. You take care of yourself, Luca, okay? Hey, Harry, hey, Harry. Hey, you take care of yourself too, okay? All right, hey, here. <laughs> Full moon coming up, okay? So stay indoors, all right? Or I'll eat ya. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat ya! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Team Jacob Headcart is complete. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tell me, Sterling here. Are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? I'm Team Dumbledore. What? <laughs> Dumbledore ain't a fictional character. You know what? You old hat, you old hat. You know what I'm gonna do with you? I'm gonna stick you in an old hat box. Cause that's what you do with an old hat. No, no, no. Tell Scarfy I love him. No, I will. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Gosh, what a day. Being a mama sure is tough work, isn't it, Jacob? <laughs> Especially when all your children are just so misbehaving. <laughs> Why they gotta be so mean to their mama? Just trying to love them. Now, Harry Potter, he's just the worst of them all. Ain't that little guitar making fun of his mama? It made me so sad. So very, very sad, hungry. <laughs> ah, a cheesecake. I wonder where that came from. Oh, that's right. It's from my induction ceremony as headmaster of Hogwarts. <laughs> but I thought I threw that away. I'm not allowed to eat cheesecake. <laughs> Just protein shakes, falcon eggs, and rocks. <laughs> well, I guess a little bit wouldn't hurt anybody. It's Huh? It's Lauris! Who said that? It's Lauris! You were dead. Lauren, I came down from heaven above to help you straighten out these children. What? I, I don't need your help. This is my house now. I don't want your help. I hate you. Hate me? You just like me. <laughs> I am nothing like you. I'm cool. Oh, yeah? Them little children don't seem to think so. I heard that Harry Potter saying behind your back that you was the chubby little <laughs> But I am a chubby little
<laughs> I dig, I do. Well, it might straighten that Harry Potter out. <laughs> he might even be better off. Yeah. You're dead, and you're just fine. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that before? Because it's crazy. <laughs> Uh oh. I'm crazy now. I know, Mama. I wouldn't be here if you wasn't. But how do I cure the children? I don't want to hurt them. Oh, there's that the way. Yeah. You mean like with this axe that I've been sharpening all day? I don't remember doing that. Yeah. I'll kill Harry Potter, and then my boyfriend Dumbledore is gonna see how powerful I am, and then we'll probably get married. And the girl, Dolores, <laughs> you make me some grandbabies, and we'll straighten them out too. Okay, Mama, I will. Bye. Thank you. This is it. Where did the poster of Headmaster Zephyrin go? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for Zac Efron. Taylor Lawton is my name. What do you want, you horrid bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Snape? It's Potter. I think he knows where Dumbledore's hiding. And it's not too. And there's this stupid brood that won't let me discipline the children. I just wish there was some way that I could get my boyfriend and kill Harry Potter. <laughs> Are you suggesting that we kill a student? Of course not, Snape. That would be crazy. We can't have crazy people running to school. <laughs> but maybe if someone who also hated Harry Potter could kill him for me. Don't look at me. No. Look at me. <laughs> you just mad for it. What are you doing here? I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. And I wanted to know if you were interested in a role in the evil scheme I've just choreographed. Hmm. <laughs> well, what's the pattern? It's a meaty supporting villain role. Go on. You say you want to find Dumbledore and have unspeakable things happen to Harry Potter. Well, I can give you those things for a very small price. I'm listening. First, you let my Death Eaters into Hogwarts. Our presence here must remain an absolute secret. Next, you lure Harry Potter someplace where I can have him alone. He must be alone. That is of the utmost importance. I would have done this myself already if he went anywhere without that ginger and that filthy mudblood girlfriend of his. Fine. That takes care of Potter. But what about Dumbledore? You say Potter knows where Dumbledore is hiding. Well, before I finish him off, I'll use every torture imaginable to loosen his tongue. Yeah. And then I get my boyfriend Dumbledore. He's probably out buying me presents. He's really sweet. I'm going to find and crush that criminal. Yes, and once you have Dumbledore, Potter is mine! Fine, it's a deal. Oh, this is also illegal. If anyone were to report this sort of business to the Ministry, you both get out of the But that's why no one is going to report it. Right, Snape? Come now, Severus. You better than anyone know what kind of people the Potters are. Their arrogance knows no bounds. Something simply must be done about them, or there will always be guys like Potter. <laughs> there are so many douchebags in the world. <laughs> yes. So many douchebags get the girls who deserve more than absolutely Bring. But men like that, they have 
have her on a string. For there will always be guys like Potter to realize tears in your eyes because he got her. So that's how it's going to happen. Um, oh my God, that's interesting. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get big. So I want to say poor Lupin. Like I feel bad that he got fired. But at the same time, Lupin in this show, as great as he has been, he has also been kind of a drunk and a bit of a creep. So as much as it pains me to say it, I feel like the students of Hogwarts might be better off that he is not there. Um, but the character has got to come back. I mean, that's he did such a good job playing him that I refuse to believe that Lupin is just gone now from this show. There's absolutely no way. Uh, I did really love the uh, the Ring Wraith uh, reference, the Lord of the Rings. The this book is so old it still refers to dementors as, as uh, Ring Wraiths. Uh, I was never really a huge Lord of the Rings fan, but it is a very funny reference, and I got it, and I appreciate it. So well done. Um, I will say, though, like, Umbridge's almost, like, obsession with corporal punishment is... It's it's bordering on uncomfortable. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. Like, everything they're doing with Umbridge is just... It's super weird. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I really hope she's not, like, a huge part of the last, you know, bit of this show. But 
I'm sure she will be. She has been so far. But, yeah, it's just been, uh, yeah, just kind of a swing and a miss with Umbridge. Uh, I, I, although I will say the whole uh, Team Jacob thing, fucking gross. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean to divide my uh, all of you guys watching here, but I was absolutely Team Edward. Uh, I did not like Jacob at all. I mean, I, okay, there, there are a lot of things I didn't like about Jacob. I'm not going to get into it. This is not the video for that. I will just say Team Edward all the way. Uh, please let me know what you were down in the comments. Um, and if you read the books or just saw the movies, I did both. I figured it was going to be a big enough part of pop culture that I might as well read them. And then you couldn't help but see the movies. I do love Nick Lang. Like, he is hilarious. He was super funny as Robin. He was super funny in his uh, little, like, super nerd bit in movies, musicals, and me. But, yeah, this bet just, or this, this, this bit here, it kind of just fell flat for me. Uh, it was hilarious how he kept referring to the children as chillin'. Uh, that's, that's super funny. Very old school, I believe, uh, southern expression. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just, it, it went on a little bit too long. And as much as Nick Lang is hilarious, and he is, even he couldn't really carry that bit for me. It was just, it was, it was okay. I mean, it was there, but I found myself just kind of thinking, like, I wish it was over. Um... I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I I don't know if I'm a huge fan of how they're making Snape out to be like a good guy. And I know that J.K. did the exact same thing in the books. I know that the exact same thing was done in the movies. But I personally don't feel like Snape was a good guy. I, I get it. He was conflicted. He was in love with Lily and all that stuff. Like I I get it. But there was no excuse for him to act like such an insufferable dick to literally an 11 year old kid that doesn't know anything about the wizarding world who grew up in a terrible family for the first 11 years knowing nothing about his true life and he finally comes to hogwarts and you're just going to be just a giant asshole to him like screw you man i don't care what your ulterior motives were he's 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 not a good guy to me uh i don't know that might be a a, a hot take but i never really forgave snape he was so unnecessarily mean uh in the books kind of like how everybody in the show is unnecessarily mean uh, um uh i loved the uh the pensive that was really or the pensive i forget how to pronounce it uh but the little cup of of memories uh that was always like a really really cool part of the harry potter universe the idea that you could just take memories out and put them into this like container and you know just kind of experience them again it was really cool and it's really neat that they put it in here and that you actually got to see uh snape's memory with him and lily and james uh and brian as james brian rosenthal i think his name was as james was actually kind of perfect like i i really really loved that uh that casting choice. I can't think of anybody else that would have played James better than that. Um, but yeah, so that that's what I got for for this part here. It was, it was, it was, it was good. It had some very very good parts. Um, but yeah, no, there's still a couple of just creative choices here that are just not quite where I would have taken the show. But. We'll see, uh, we'll see what the future holds. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next part here very soon.